So how can this guy carry me through this entire event? Let's find out. So what's up guys, it's James from Kitson and today we're here to do another yet another challenge. In this to this challenge we're trying to beat this entire tower to 100 levels with basically only MUI Goku as this as the main DPS. So you can see from this team, all the teammates have only boosted red elements. So basically the MUI will be boosted as strong as he can. And then whenever this is needed, the other two other teammates are going to become the sacrificial lamp. To either block the damage that block the damage for MUI or they will be sacrificed it and then MUI can have a chance to be revived it. So this is how the strategy goes but of course from floor 1 to floor about 50 I can use the skip mechanics but of course I'm not here to show show every floor but so I'm gonna skip to the part where I can no, no longer use my skips and see in one bit a few moments later um, unfortunately, it seems that my team is gonna cannot win automatically in floor 38 already, so we have to switch to manual. It's not even halfway of the full tower, but it's time to see whether my strategy is gonna work. So basically, MUI is the only DPS in this team. And the other team is here for covering for MUI if MUI is in trouble and to sacrifice themselves and then allow MUI to have damage boost and then have a chance to revive. So basically this is how the strategy works and using abusing these mechanics hopefully we can beat the entire tower. So we start from baiting them to attack and to counter them. Yeah, the AIs don't don't know how to counteract with those with those counter attacks. So you can basically do the whole combo after you counter them. But of course not in PvP because in PvP after you counter, basically their gauge will be fully restored and they can finish. But the AI doesn't know how he, doesn't know he they can do that. So this is why I. I think MUI is very strong in PvE content. So for now it's only for level 38 so we can tank some damage. But in the harder levels I believe we have to switch right there or else we will take lethal damage. Okay, an LF for the first demonstration. That is pretty neat. There we go. Amazing. Legendary finish. And yeah, this is basically how I'm gonna try to use this strategy to win. And of course, I'm not gonna record every level since from 38 to 100, so I will skip and then to only focus on the bosses, which means every five, I've every five levels. So I will see you in a bit again. A few minutes later, the, the midst of recording of those levels, when I found that the original Red Element teams have one problem, is that basic all of the members is not melee type so have uh, so I have a new idea to bring only melee type in the battle members and of course the whole entire team is also only buffing MUI to the fullest but those battle units are melee type so they have more attack cards which MUI is a melee type melee type as well so you can do do more damage with more more melee cards. That's basically the same thing, but with only different teammates, which is 
gonna operate operates the same for the pre previous red element team. They're only here for support and to cover MUI and also to sacrifice and allowing MUI to be revived and damage increase. But with more 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 uh, attack art cards cards, the MUI can do much more damage. Right, there's a mistake by me, right there. And yeah, and then switch him to tank this ultimate. So because I don't want this video to be too long, so after this battle of this demonstration of this new team, I was straight to jump to le level 90, 95 and 100 of this, of this, of this tower. And if you like watch the, what this video right now, make sure and like and subscribe. It would be a great support to this small channel. So let's try to skip to level 90. A few hours later. Um so, alright, so we finally will go to level 90. And it really took me a few hours to play because I have I have to switch to manual basically after floor 38 so from floor 38 to 90 you have to play manual one by one so it really takes a very long time but but it is fine because all we are I, I'm here all for content and if you guys enjoy I think the time is very worth it and if you enjoy make sure to drop a like so if this video reaches 30 likes, I will do more summons in, in, in the MUI, the MUI banner before they expire. So if you really enjoy, consider to drop a like and subscribe. So you can see this how, how the strategy works. We always start from countering daily attack. And because AI do not know how to counteract to our counters, so we can just combo them entirely. <coughs> Which doesn't work in PvP, by the way. So <clears throat> you should never do this in PvP. You should never immediately go to combo after counter attack in PvP. Can I finish so I can combo them. So we can see how much damage this UI Go Emu Goku is doing, just because he is a bonus character and he has element factors. Man, I can say this one is going pretty well because I have no need to switch to any characters for now. And yet another counter. So you can see how strong MUI alone as a PvE content content character. Of course he's strong in PvP as well, but in PvE he really shines. It really surprised, surprised me that I don't even, even have to switch to any other characters until for for how how long this fight has to go on. I drop a combo here, so it's time for Fajito Blue to tank him. So you can see the other units only for you for tanks and to block their attack. Unfortunately, the, our Fajito Blue is definitely going to die. Again, we switch to, um, to, to, to another another sacrificial lamp, and to buy time until we can put back the MUI Goku in. So this is basically how, the, how this strategy is gonna works in high level as well. And my MUI Goku is only three stars, so we don't have this is not. So as long as you have MUI 
this level should be very fairly easy. If you find this video interesting and want to see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe because we are only 3 subscribers away from the subscribe 100 subscriber goals and it will be very, very, a very great news to this small, small channel. And here we go, we are successfully defeated on to level 90. So we will straight go to level 90, level 100 soon. 9 levels later. So alright finally we have reached the level 100, the final showdown of this entire tower. I must say I was very surprised by the capability of this 3 star MUI of how he can single handedly carry me through this entire run. Because his ability to, to, to dodge and to counter attacks and the fact that the AI don't know how to counter racket is very very what makes him very very strong in PvE content. And already another counter attack to start with. I'm gonna just do normal combos right here. More combos to go. Very nice. And then the counter attack, the run is going for him very well. So always remember to slide whenever you try to counter him, or else you will be baited by their normal key blast, which we don't want to we don't want our our gauge to be used in dodging normal key blast. Right, we'll pop an ultimate to gain back some key. So we can either rush and rush or use ultimate. But in this case, of course, we're going to do the ultimate. Or else the ultimate card will, be, will, will disappear. Right, basically halfway down. Okay, somehow just stand there and just take it to assault, assault our dominance. It's because of the tight disadvantage and the bonus character we managed to survive. Give him a launch and rush. Okay, he's very close right now. We can uh, let our guards down. Alright, let's play right there. Okay. Then you can see how these two units is here to become the shield for UI. And then you are gonna win any clash. So one question, so have you seen MUI clashing with another MUI? Because I've never seen it before. I wonder how the interaction is gonna work. So if you know, do comments below. And this is a very close fight. So we have two green cards, so we can recharge our gauge in 1v1. Okay, recharge our gauge. Recharge again. Hopefully, we can I can I can counter him.
Okay. Okay, this should be the end because I counter him and I can use straight cards immediately after. So this is the end of, the, of this run. I can say I was very surprised by this MUI capability. And this should be the end of this video. And if you like, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And hopefully, uh, and if this video reaches 30 goals, I will do my do two rotation, well, two more rotations in the MUI banner. So hopefully we can reach that. And see you in the next video.